Voices in adoration, Lord, we have come to honor you, we have come to praise you, we have come to lift up your name. There is none like you, Jesus. There is none like you, there is none like you, there is none like you. We have come to exalt you, we have come to honor you, we have come to exalt you, Jesus. You are worthy, you are worthy. There is none like you, Jesus. There is none like you, Lord. We worship you, we worship you. You are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy, Lord. Oh. There is none like you, Jesus. You are worthy. We have come to proclaim hallelujah to you. We have come to proclaim you are worthy. Worthy is the Lamb seated on the throne. Oh. We bless you, Jesus. Glorious God, 
beautiful King, excellent God, we bow before your throne. Glorious God, beautiful King, excellent God, we bow before your throne. Glorious God, beautiful King, excellent God, before your throne glorious God beautiful King beautiful King excellent God excellent God we bow before your throne you are glorious God beautiful King beautiful King excellent God Before your feet, we join the heavenly hosts 
to proclaim you are king to proclaim you are lord you are worthy jesus sharabaganda mashaya elebaria masana etelebragada bagana come on church worship him he's worthy he's worthy worship We exalt you, Jesus. Light of the world, you step down into darkness. Open my eyes, let me see beauty that made these heart adore you. Hope of a life spent with you. Light of the world, light of the world, you step down into darkness open my eyes let me see beauty that man these eyes adore you open my eyes me see here I am I'm to worship here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. All together, all together, wash. All together, all together, wash. All together, all together, wonderful to me.
Yes, you are. Yes, you are worthy. Yes, you are glorious. Yes, you are. You are seated at the right hand of the throne of the Father. We lift our eyes unto you, the other and the finisher of our faith. We lift our voices, Lord, and we proclaim you are worthy. You are worthy. Lift up your voice, adore him. Lift up your voice, acknowledge the beauty of his holiness. Aria Mashara Bakanda, Elepelepedesa, Ayadabaya, Eria Makata Nabadaya, Elepeliba Sotebaya, Ila Maya, Ila Masatabaya, Irabo Sotebe, in the Pelia Kadabaya, Elibaya Namasha Namaya. You are lifted, you are exalted. Iramadosia na maya nele maya. Ete peko de sepeli ane. We lift you, Lord. We lift you, Lord. We lift you, Lord. Sacrifice. I have more than a song today. I brought myself. I am your worship. Receive this living sacrifice. I am. Your worship accept this living sacrifice. I am your worship. Receive this living sacrifice. I am. Your worship accepts. Accept this living sacrifice. I am your worship. Receive this living sacrifice.
is I am your one. With our hands lifted up, we see, we see, we see, sacrifice. I am your worship. My God, accept, accept, accept. This living sacrifice. I am your worship. Shira mamuz elevai. I come as a sacrifice. I come as a worship, Lord. Today I'm bringing it in a different way. I am coming, Lord, as a sacrifice. I come, Lord, just as I am, a living sacrifice. Yeah. Somebody just lift up your voice. Let us offer ourselves as sacrifices this morning. Yeah. We have come as sacrifices. We have come, we have come as worship unto the Lord. Hey. Do not allow yourself to be silent in His presence. I have come as a song to you, Lord, to you, Lord, yeah. I am a Casatabadis, a Perecalabadio, Jesus, 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 Jesus. I have come. As a sacrifice, Sharia Magadosia, Vele Bella Dushana Magado. Don't be silent, don't be silent, don't be silent. Oh, Jesus. song from the song in itself it's not what you have required Sharia Magani Amazani Asha Sorro Bodibaya Lord, I am bringing more than a song. I have come myself. Do you have believers in the house that can agree with me? That today, Lord, this morning I'm bringing myself. Oh. Mm -mm. Oh Lord, I'll bring you more than a song for the song in itself. Just lift up your hands one more time and tell the Lord today, I'm gonna be that song. <laughs> today, Lord. I am that worship. Mm. Mm. Oh, Iana 
Yes, Lord. Yamado Kayalias. Fresh Yadaboriates. Father, we are grateful this morning that God, you have given us an opportunity to come and worship you. It's all about you, Jesus. And even this morning as we listen to your word, Lord, speak to our hearts. Change our hearts, O oh God. Cause us, O oh God, to come closer to you even through your word. Cause us, O oh God, also to hide 
your word in our hearts that we may not sin against you. We thank you, Lord, and we honor you this morning. And I pray for revelation of your word this morning as I bring this word to your people. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Now, kinapo keti salimia mtuma be a good morning. You know, most of us, nobody has said us good morning, but <laughs> it's good to see someone early in the morning that you didn't come from the same house. Amen. Now, I would like to bring the word of God and I would want to, I would was, want also to welcome those that are watching us from Umlaka TV and from different our, our social media pages. God bless you so much, our viewers, for finding time to catch up with us early in the morning. And I know that God is going to bless us. Today I would like to talk about, by the grace of God, the blessing of the meek. The blessing of the meek. Buenas viewers. This week, our, our theme has been becoming fruitful and bearing the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And I would like us to read in the book of Galatians, chapter 5, verse 22. Galatians, chapter 5, verse 22. That has been a theme that I've been reading, but I, I, just, I just felt before we enter into other things, I finish up with that, uh, that verse that uh, God has been speaking to us a lot about it. And... God is going to bless us. I know God is going to bless us. Galatians chapter 5. Galatians chapter 5 verse 22. It talks about the fruits of the Holy Spirit. But the, uh, you can read together. But the fruit of the Spirit is what one? Love, uh -huh. joy, peace, uh -huh. and suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control again is such there is no law and also the bible says again in the book of first in the book of again in the book of first corinthians and you can i mean in the book of first corinthians chapter 13 4 to 5 first corinthians chapter 13 4 to 5 thank you Long love suffers long and is kind. Love, love does not envy. Love does not parade itself. It's not puffed up. I don't think it's the one that I wanted. It is this verse that I was looking for. I don't know whether it's. Uh, but um, I'm a person that believes in in the in the in the in in meekness and i'm the I'm, I'm a person that believes that anybody that wants to work with god has to have to bear meekness there was a time that jesus was teaching about the beatitudes and he took time to talk about blessed are the meek and he said something about the meek that they shall inherit the earth bonus few Kama kuna baraka kama hiyo ambayo huo inafuata watu. I pray that you shall, you shall become a meek person. In the mighty name of Jesus. Uneza kuu unasikia, unasema, what is meekness? Nataka niwaonyeshe vile biblia na asema kuhusu, kuhusu meekness. And not biblia, definition of the word meek. Because some people confuse meekness with so many other. Wana confuse na vitu zingine. Lakini ngetaka tu uone vile biblia na asema kuhusu who is a meek person. Meekness in a manisha. Would you want to hear this? Meekness means being quiet, gentle, and easily imposed on or submissive. Did you hear that? Meekness in a zema, meekness definition yake, ama ni synonym yajina mtu quiet, ama mtu gentle, ama mtu that is not, that is easily imposed on, ama mtu submissive. Bonus few. Na diposa wakati tumesoma kuhusu the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Tumesoma hizo tisa. Na ninaomba wiki hii kwa sababu tumeangalia some of them. Na hata tukaangalia the fruit of, you know, gentleness. Gentleness and meekness as in impacting Lakini siku generations. Lakini tuangalie why should you choose to be a meek person? A meek person kama hivyo Biblia inasema ya kwamba ni mtu ambaye ako na roho ya Ya, ya bayo siya kujinua, ni roho ambayo, ni roho ya kunyenyekia, ni roho ambayo ni gentle, you cannot be aggressive, you cannot be violent, you cannot kuwa mutu ambayo ya kona na fujo na siyasa, buwana sifiwe, 
na ninakuambia kwamba siku ya leo i pray that may god give you that grace to be a meek person in jesus name the time that i was talking about being gentle i was talking about some of the areas that you should improve on yourself so that you become meek ukiona uko na vitu zingine unajua hii si meekness bwana asifiwe now we didn't want just to hear that before I, i give you the word of god i was i had talked about it last week but i just wanted you to see that there are things that when you don't have them you don't show meekness and one of it is lack of forgiveness anybody that is not a forgiver that does not forgive so easily is is a person that is not bearing the fruit of meekness bonus for you another thing that shows that you don't have meekness is when you are not able to control your temper people that get so angry so fast are people that are not that are not meek people that throw tantrums people that are so abusive people that are always you know harsh on people those are not meek people bwana asifiwe and my prayer is that may we be found meek in the mighty name of jesus another sign that you are not a meek person is when you have the spirit of strife watu wale wanakuanga na roho ya strife wa kila wakati lazima kuwe na mvutano you know they, they are so argumentative they are so always want to fight they also want to raise a you know to raise a, a drama to create cr- dramas whatever they are events some things that you don't even need drama you know people that are that where they go there is can never be found peace there is always strife i pray that may god deliver us from the spirit that can make us not to be seen as if we are meek in the mighty name of jesus another sign that you are not meek is also in, it, it it is seen when you you don't have a soft tongue when you don't have a soft tongue when you are you are so harsh when you talk when you don't have a gentle speech a gentle tongue when your tongue is not seasoned with salt when you are talking and you are hurting the feelings of people when you talk and you f- people feel as if you know they feel they don't like to listen to you more because you're hurting them you are you know una una wa una wa despise through your talk you are being so you know you correct with a lot of harshness those are people that are not walking under the grace of meekness praise the lord another sign that you are not a meek person is when you are full of the spirit of revenge when you are so avenge for revenge for watu wale ambao huwa una roho ya revenge hao ni watu ambao hawana roho ya ya meekness praise the lord I don't know that you noted all those. You didn't note them because I have the scripture to defend what I'm saying. It's only that I didn't want first to mention them. But the people that are full of the spirit of revenge are people that that do not walk with the fruit of meekness. And I pray this morning in Jesus name, may you be found meek. The Bible says that Moses was a man, the meekest man on the earth. Praise the Lord. Nikwa dio no no that is where you find that even the time that You know the time that his sister and his brother talked so ill about him and they started gossiping him you see God is the one that listened but Moses he did not even go to them and tell them I heard what you said you're talking about my Ethiopian wife I just wanted to tell you that that wife is mine I don't have to answer you anything you know he could talk he could have talked a lot to his sisters and tell his sister let me tell you something Miriam I cannot go with you anymore I don't want you to I don't want you to see you in my team of ministry you know he could have said a lot but he just kept quiet and the bible says that god that is when he said because Miriam you have done this to my servant judgment will come upon you praise the lord do you know something about the meek people it appears as if they are it's a weakness meekness is a weakness because you put your power under control Praise the Lord. You put the power your power at a control. In fact, another term, I'm another meaning of meekness is putting your power at a control. Bwana asifiwe. My prayer for all of us this morning in Jesus name. I pray that you may be found meek in the mighty name of Jesus. There are situations that you, you we are going to to control ourselves and to handle ourselves with a lot of dignity for the sake of the for the sake of God. for the sake of the kingdom that you belong in hallelujah kuna mambo tutakata kuna matusi tutaacha even if your mouth is so, so full of gossip i mean so full of abuse i pray that may god dry all those abuses out of your minds <laughs> with the sweet of god take over those those vocabularies of you know of that language out of your life out of our lives in jesus name do you know nowadays you find people on social media they are always abusing they are always ta-ta-ta. Hey, who do you think you are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, 
people are in different groups that do not even belong to the people of God. They have joined groups on social media and they are portraying a personality that is not showing the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. My prayer for all of us this morning in Jesus name. We you sh- people will look at you and say this is indeed a person that have walked with God if he did not reply to that person. If he did not say something when he was told that if he did not revenge, if he did not hate that person after he was told that. Na mimi ni naomba siku ya leo because I'm a person that believes in spiritual maturity. I'm a person that believes that there are things that you know we have to outgrow them because of the journey we have walked with God. Praise the Lord. Kuna vitu ambazo you have to refuse and say ah, I cannot do that. For the you know have I I know God at a certain level and there are things I cannot do. There are some competi- competition you have to refuse. Vita kushidana mashidano ambayo it's not healthy. There are some competition that are very very dangerous and they have used, they have made the enemy to use to, to to use us as his instruments because we have refused to grow and we have refused the spirit of God to work in us. But my prayer this morning in the mighty name of Jesus, we shall surrender ourselves to the to the to, to the Holy Spirit that he can do with us as much as he would like. That he may change our hearts in Jesus name. You know our theme has been the holy holy spirit this month and I was talking to God and I was telling God in case there are some areas that we restrain ourselves that even sometimes when you want to, to work with our hearts to work with our lives you are not able to we release ourselves unto him praise the lord do you know there are people that are so rigid you know they are so rigid you know when they feel even God they are, there is a way he's changing them they don't want to be changed they want to remain the way wajiko wa bare ya fulani anakuanga hutaki kubadilika wagare ya wa bare wagare wa kemani vida ya wangari aliumbwa unataka ukae hivyo lazima tukubali roho mtakatifu atutengeneze avia mwenzako you have to change in jesus name <laughs> now this morning i just want for the few minutes that we have i just talk about some benefits that will come to those people now that will choose to be meek would you want to hear that now this is what the bible says The Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 61 verse 1 kama uko na ile version ya ASV ASV kama uko nayo inaweza kuwa mzuri uh, as Isaiah chapter 61 verse 1 thank you the Bible says the spirit of the Lord Jehovah is upon me because Jehovah has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Bwana asifiwe. If you're writing somewhere one of a benefit that anybody that is meek is able to find is that they obtain salvation from the Lord. Huwa wanaokolewa na Mungu. God saves them. Praise the Lord. I don't know whether in your life you have encountered a lot of injuries, a lot of dangers in life, but this is even what the Bible says about even Jesus, even Jesus himself. He said that the spirit of God was upon him and it was upon him because he was he he has been anointed to preach salvation to preach salvation to the meek to preach good tidings to the meek kama kuna version nyingine if you have another version like even if it's an nkgv you'll see that the bible says to bring to 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 bring salvation to the meek to bring good tidings amplified said to preach the gospel of good tidings to the meek my prayer for all of us this morning in jesus name may you find good tidings from the lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Do you know what are good tidings? Good tidings ni mambo ambayo huwa yanafanya mtu afurahi. Mungu anakuokoa hata wewe mwenye wa moyo wako unafurahi. Katika jina la Yesu. You have another version NIV. Thank you. Aha. Uh-huh. The Bible says that the spirit of the sovereign Lord is on me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. Hii inasema kuhusu the poor. Lakini ninakuombea siku ya leo katika jina la Yesu. I pray that may you be a person that will find the salvation of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. May God save you. Mungu akuokoe katika jina la Yesu. Mungu akuokoe katika jina la Yesu. Do you know most people are culprits of injuries from the demonic oppression, from demonic attacks, from demonic, you know, from demonic things. Lakini mtu wote ambaye akona roho kunyenyekea huwa anapata 
anaokolewa ana na Mungu na mambo hayo yote na mimi ninakuombea siku ya leo may God cause you to walk under the great grace of salvation by him in the mighty name of Jesus i pray that may you find god coming and helping your life because you're a meek person there is something that one time i said most people that appear they they have the fruit of meekness they are meek people may not see as if they are strong enough they appear to to not to, to be people that do not know how to defend themselves they appear to be people that are so wanakaliangwa sana they appear to be people that people take advantage of them but those are people that they have bore a fruit praise the lord wanakaa ni watu ambao wako so weak they are people that wanakanga ni kama wanahitaji wao na mtu ambaye atawatetea mimi ninakuombea siku ya leo katika jina la Yesu may you be that kind of a man watu wanakuhurumia lakini Mungu ndiye anakuteteaanga katika jina la Yesu. Siji kama ushaiona na mtu ambaye unasikia kumwambia kwa nini wewe hukumjibu? Mtu anakufanyia hivyo na unanyamaza tu, unanyamaza tu. Mimi ninakuambia fadhali wewe mtu kama huyo. Kuliko huyo anakuambia kama mimi there is somebody that came and told me, "Ref, Patricia, let me tell you something." Huyo mtu kama anakusumbua, wewe tu kuwa tu unani forward tu jina yake. Unaona vile nitakusaidia kupambana na yeye. They do the people that they they, they, they admire to be kama ni wao wanachokoza hivyo wanachokoza wako waone waonyeshe watu kivumbi <laughs> praise the lord i i don't know whether you are such kind of a person but i desire over all of us this morning in jesus name may the fruit of meekness be so great in our lives in the mighty name of jesus if there is a man that was found to be meek until the bible says that he was written that he's one of the people that were found meek you shall also be found meek in jesus name in the mighty name of Jesus you shall be second after Moses the, that number 38 after Moses then kama Moses was the meekest kama hakuna mwenye alikuwa juu yake si umfuate kidogo katika jina la Yesu now this is what the bible says um in the book of Psalms chapter 25 verse 9 Psalms chapter 25 verse 9 the bible talks something about again the meek um But I, I, I don't know whether we should read for you so Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 3 nilikuwa hapo kwa salvation of the Lord lakini ningetaka tu kabla tusome hii nataka uone vile Biblia inasema kwenye kitabu cha Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 3 Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 3 the Bible says seek the Lord all you meek of the earth who have upheld his justice seek righteousness seek humility it may be that you'll be hidden in the day of the Lord's anger Did you hear that? This is the book of Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 3 the Bible says the sick they will be hidden by the Lord in the Lord's in the day of the Lord's anger. Bonus few. Now there is times that a lot of things happen until the anger of the Lord arises up against someone, against a nation, against a city, against a tribe, against a family. But the Bible says that to the meek what happens is that when such a day arises that those people are found safe bwana asifiwe unakuta watu kama hao hata kukiwa na uovu hata kama kuna judgment imeshuka kwa familia inasema hii familia kuna mambo ilikosea na kwa hivyo shetani kuna mambo ame, ame you know kuna mambo ambayo imekuwa kwa hiyo familia you find that there is a way that the meek that will be found that family that there is a way god is saving them in case of a city there is a judgment that has come on a city you find that the meek find salvation and my prayer for all of us this morning we are not guaranteed that there will be no ever time that the anger of the lord may not arise there is no way he said that there will be no time that he will ever be angry he only says that he's slow to anger praise the lord but his mercy is last for long but my prayer is that even even when he's slow to anger but there will be a time he will be angry i pray that may you be found to be meek that he shall be at least lenient with you praise the lord unajua watu wengi wanateseka kwa sababu ya makosa ya watu wengine there are people that are suffering courtesy of even other people's mistakes until the anger of the lord has a reason my prayer is that may you be found to be meek that the salvation of the lord may find you in the mighty name of jesus lift up your hands say i shall be meek in jesus name now 
Now, another thing that happens that is a, be- a, a benefit to those that I shall choose to be meek. The Bible says Psalms chapter 25 verse 9. Psalms chapter 25 verse 9. The Bible says uh, the humble or the meek. Another word for the humble the, is humble. There are other versions of the words that say humble. Now, the humble guide, the humble, he guides in justice. And the humble, he teaches the humble, he teaches his way. Bonus few. Come on, Nandika Mahali. Another benefit of people that are humble or meek is that they enjoy divine gui- guidance and teachings from the Lord. They they are guided and taught by the Lord. They are guided and taught by the Lord. I want you to know that I don't know whether it's here that I preach as someone that I'm titled when God guides you, the benefits that come to a man that have the guidance of the Lord. Now, there's, I, I, want you to, I, I want you to know this, that it's not by default that God just guides anyone. There are people that they have positioned themselves in a way that they can be guided by God. There is a way you can position yourself that it is not hard for God to guide you. Kama sasa kuna mtu ambaye anaweza kuwa you 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 would like to make a decision in life but you don't mind to go to anyone to help you in guidance you don't seek for mentorship you don't if you have a mentor you don't want to talk to them concerning and a, a something that you want to to be guided on do you know those people they will make decisions on themselves even if they had you, you know even if they were in a time they needed to be guided they cannot be guided because they did not align themselves in a way they could be guided now the same case with god god will never guide just anyone that has not aligned himself he's not positioned himself that he really need his guidance but to the meek anybody that is a meek is a person that is very traced by god so easily for direction in life Praise the Lord. They are accessed so easily by God to be given direction about their lives. And I want you to know that in this life, it will be so difficult for you if you don't obtain the guidance of the Lord. Life will be so difficult. You'll make mistakes in life if you don't have the guidance of the Lord. You'll make errors and bladders of life that will cost you a lot. But when you have the guidance of the Lord, you shall be safe. You shall be safe. But the portion of the meek is that they don't you know, every time God causes them to make the right choices, any time you are guided by God, please be assured that your life shall not bear pain. And my prayer for all of us this morning, may your life be stress-free, pain-free, anxiety-free, danger-free, in the mighty name of Jesus, because the hand of God shall be there to guide you and to teach you in Jesus' name. I don't know whether sometimes you have ever found yourself in a place. You don't know whether it's you that is making a decision or it's the leading of God. But you find that you are self thanking God that you made a certain decision. Have you ever found yourself in such a place? That is how God operates with the meek. They sometimes find themselves in a place. Sometimes even they have not prayed a lot concerning an issue. But you find that step they are taking is still a, a godly step. They still find themselves they are doing the thing that it was supposed to be done unto them. May you be guided of the Lord because you shall choose to be meek. There is a version that says that in all things, all things happen for good to them that are in Christ Jesus. I also say that it shall happen also for good to those that are in Christ Jesus and they have aligned themselves to the will of God. Praise the Lord. And also this to those also that shall be meek. Na mimi ni nakuumbia siku ya leo. Usiwai kubali. Don't never allow yourself to be a person that will choose otherwise. In Jesus name. If there is a if there is a choice that you have been given to make a choice to be rich or to be meek, choose to be meek. Praise the Lord. If there is a choice that you are being given, you know, to 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 to, to choose wealth and riches, choose meekness. If it's, there is an option for meekness. Praise the Lord. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God and to those who are called according to his purpose. Do you know, not everyone that all things will work good for them. Working good also for people will matter the guidance of God. It will come to those that love him. 
ya kwamba utakubali Mungu akusaidie kufanya maamuzi katika jina la Yesu. If he guides the path of the just. I mean he guides in justice the meek. And also he teaches him their ways. He teaches them his ways. I also decree upon your life in Jesus name. You shall be taught of his ways by God. In the mighty name of Jesus. You sh- you shall find God guiding you in justice. Katika jina la Yesu. This is what the Bible says Proverbs Isaiah chapter 30 verse 21 Isaiah chapter 30 verse 21 the bible says what your ears shall hear a word behind the saying this is the way walk in it whenever you turn to the right hand or whenever you turn to the left hallelujah this is the word of god and one of our way that god guides us is that when we take a turn in life the attempts that we shall hear his voice speaking to us and those are the people that even are so they are so open to hear god's voice are people that are meek ni watu ambao wameamua kuwa watu wa nyenyekevu na watu ambao they are gentle they are people that are they have chosen to live a meek life praise the lord i don't know whether you have ever seen somebody that is just mtu ambaye hauanga hana maneno mengi lakini unakuta akikwambia mimi usiku nimeota nimefonyeshwa mtu fulani kuna mambo mimi nimeona you know kuna maneno Mungu amenionyesha unashindwa ai huyu mtu kwani ana neno yangu aje sana because some of us if we have set our hearts in a way that God will find us worthy to be spoken to him he shall speak to us praise the lord God does not delight to communicate with everyone sometimes there are people that are in a level that they can hear his voice praise the lord do you know there are people that mtu wako captain boa na hayuko mamlaka tv na hako facebook ananisikia nikiongea hasiki because they are not in the vicinity of where the, my voice can reach is that not true but when god causes you to hear his voice it shows that your vicinity from him to him from you to him it's not far you are very close to him hallelujah mimi ninakuombea siku ya leo katika jina la yesu may you find that close association with God because you are meek in the mighty name of Jesus katika jina la Yesu I don't know whether you heard what I said that those that hear the voice of God it depends in the distance they are with God some of them is because they are with God in at a close distance bwana asifiwe another version kwa hii NKJV kuna another version words in us not NKJV there are other versions that say you shall hear a quiet voice behind you utasikia sauti ambayo singi kubwa bwana asifiwe ikikunenea nyuma ya masikio yako haleluya ikinena nyuma yako mimi ninakuombea si usikie hiyo sauti si Mungu wawe karibu hapa nyuma yako tu ukiwa mbele ya yeye ni kukwambia songa mbele songa hivi do you know when you want to lead someone you are behind them kama sasa kuna wakati watu tunafuatana na bishop tunaenda highway tunaenda na yeye namwambia wewe enda mbele ananiambia wewe enda mbele ndio nione vile unaendesha gari ananiambia na nipigie simu ananiambia hii na hapo umeenda speed sana kupunguza do you know why because he can monitor how i'm going now that is the same case with god sometimes the, he allows you to make the lead but he's you are he's leading you na hapo ndio atakwambia sasa hapo kuna vile kuna kitu kiko hapo mbele we make sure umeangalia Praise the Lord. I I desire over your life in Jesus name. You shall walk under the guidance of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your ears will be able to hear and know that is your father telling you that. Hallelujah. In Jesus name. Now, the last one maybe as I finish. This is what the Bible says in the book of Psalms chapter 22 verse 26. Psalms chapter 22 verse 26. This is what the Bible says. I hope you are getting blessed. Are you getting blessed? Are you admiring that God may cause us to be more meek? Hallelujah. Ha, <sighs> if I, I don't know whether you have another version. Kama uko na version kama gani? Um my version is NLT. If you have NLT or ASV. Thank you. The poor will eat and be satisfied. All who seek the Lord will praise him. Their hearts will rejoice with everlasting joy if you're writing somewhere another benefit that comes to the meek is that they enjoy divine provision hallelujah i don't know that you have another version that haina poor iko na the meek version kama ya uh, 
I don't know whether you have other version that has the meek. But this is what the Bible says. That the meek, I have a version that says, the meek shall eat and be satisfied. They shall praise Jehovah that seek after they, they that seek after him. Let your heart live forever. This this is my ASV. Maybe in a you come up. In your life, you have been struggling a lot. You know, you have been telling God, remember me. You have been going through a lot of debts, a lot of luck, a lot of, you, you know, there are so many insufficiencies that you don't have. But I want you to know that there is a God that is called, that di- that divinely provides for them that are meek. Thank you. This is the version I was looking for. The meek, ASV, the meek shall eat and do what? And be satisfied. They shall praise Jehovah that seek after him. Let your heart live forever. I deserve your life in Jesus' name. May you eat and be satisfied. It's one thing to eat. It's another thing to be satisfied. I pray that you shall eat and not only eat. You shall be satisfied in Jesus' name. You shall be satisfied in Jesus' name. You know, there was a time when I was growing up. uh, We used to have a neighbor that used to visit our home and because he used to visit our home there would be time that we would also go to visit and, and visit his ho- her home and I remember <laughs> when we visit her house we could find her cooking and, and the food is ready because she had so many children tunaikewa tusahani hapo sasa mbutu walikuwa naikewa chakula kidogo 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 kwa za sisi ya mbutu metabia na tuwekea kidogo na tuambia njini si mkwa na mama enyo ya deni muka shibia kwenyo Hini, hini ya kuonja tu. <laughs> you know, we could feel so bad. Tunaona watoto wake wana ikiwa nyingi. Hai tunasema haki kiwi mama anatuchukia. Anatuambia nyinyi endeni mukapewe kwenye si mko na kwenye. <laughs> Wale mukapewa na mama yenu. <laughs> what has been? Now do you know what happens? Sometimes there are times that God will open avenues of your provision, but you're not getting the satisfaction that you need. But the meek they enjoy the satisfaction. Praise the Lord. My prayer for all of us this morning upon your life. May you enjoy that as satisfaction from the Lord. Hakuna kitu kizuri kama kushiba. Unakula hivi mpaka hata wewe mwenyewe unasikia hata nikaitiwa nyama. Mimi siwezi kula. Mimi ninaomba ya kwamba your life shall be satisfied with good things. In the mighty name of Jesus. There is a version that says that there is a God who is a satisfier of people with good with good things and our satisfy na mambo mazuri. Praise the Lord. There was a time I, I I was preaching about four things that God will satisfy you thing with. Mambo manne ambayo utapewa na Mungu hata wewe utosheke. Hi, Bwana Sfiwe. I pray that the meek shall be satisfied with good things in Jesus name. Mungu atakubali ya kwamba maisha yako hauna kukosa kosa. Kuna roho ambayo Mungu anakupatia maisha yako you are you are satisfying yourself. You satisfy the needs of your house. You satisfy the needs of your business. You satisfy the needs of you know of anything that you asked for. Mimi ni naomba kwamba itakuwa your portion. Because you shall choose to be meek in Jesus name. See what the Bible says in the book of Psalms chapter 103 verse 5. There is a man that talked about how God satisfied him. He wraps you in goodness, beauty eternal. If you have that is kama uko na hiyo version. Wow. See some step to 103 verse 5 who satisfy you who satisfies your mouth with good with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles Did you hear what there is a god who satisfy us with good things and the good things what they do is that they cause us to have a renewal unasikia ni kama umeanza tena wakati maisha yako umejaa vizuri na mimi ninaomba ya kwamba may god cause you to walk in his grace in the mighty name of Jesus. See what the Bible says when the Bible talks about this man that the Bible talks in the book of Psalms chapter 30 37 verse 25. Psalms chapter 37 verse 25. The Bible says I have been young and now I am old. Yet I have not done what? I have not seen the righteous forsaken nor his descendants begging bread. But what happens? Or what else was 26 kindly wow he is ever merciful and leads and his descendants are blessed praise the lord if the bible says that this psalmist was saying i have been you know 
have been young and now I'm growing older. But one thing I've come to realize about God, if we, if we can go back to verse 25, what I've realized about God is that he has not allowed the children of the righteous to go hungry. Do you know what is this? This is the satisfaction of the Lord. The Bible says in another version, I have been young and now I'm old, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken. Nor his descendants begging bread. Do you know, begging bread, the spirit of begging is a spirit that shows that you have not been satisfied with good things. Bonus fever. Bado kuna kiwango haujafika cha baraka. Na mimi ninaomba ya kwamba kama hujafika hicho kiwango ufike katika jina la Yesu. Your seed shall not beg. You shall also not beg. In the mighty name of Jesus. Kuna watu waliimba kitambo siji kama walienda wapi kama wana walikuwa nini wawachi kuimba na vile nilikuwa nawapenda. Walikuwa siji wanaitwa 24 elders. Walikuwa naimba wanasema I know go beg. Siji kama ushaisikia wimbo kama hiyo. Prince Rim na Joe pasa hizo na Joe wanaweza kuwa na Joe wakiwa na Judah fans wanajua nyimbo kama hizo. Nilikuwa nasema I am I know go beg. I cannot ever beg. Hallelujah. Na mimi ninakuombea you ca- you will not beg. Kama mimi kuna kitu huwa ninaomba. Huwa ninaambia Mungu God I will not beg. Oh my goodness I'm not built for begging. Na mimi ninakuombea katika jina la Yesu. You have not been built for beg- begging. You are only built to beg God but not to beg human being. Hey, katika jina la Yesu. Mikataza wewe kuwa mtu wa waombaomba. Na si kuomba Mungu, ni kuomba watu. Mimi nimekataa katika jina la Yesu. May God deliver you. Do you know there are people that are living under the masses of people because the the, 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 the sweet of begging is all over them. You know, unakuta kila kitu mpaka mshahara wako you are begging for it. Mpaka kitu ambacho it's your possession, you are still begging for it. Kwa sababu imechukuliwa, kwa sababu umnaishi na roho ya oppression. Mimi siku ya leo ninakukomboa na roho ya begging. Katika jina la Yesu. Kila wakati ni kuambia landlord kila tu niongeze tu bizi mingine miwili. Unalia, unampigia mago, magoti. Kama Mungu mpaka unapiga inakaa ni kama ni roho mtakatifu kwa juu yako na ni neema ya kujua ku, kuomba watu mimi nimekukataza ukae hivyo kupitia the authority of the word of god in the mighty name of jesus i desire that may god help you do you know why the bible says when the bible talks about uh, let uh, let your request be made known to god that the peace of god may reign in your life do you know why wakati Mungu alikuwa anasema do not be anxious about anything but in everything with prayer supplication you know let your request be known to God do you know why God was giving us that that remedy because it's so bad it's not good for a for a believer to be anxious mtu anaka na wasiwasi anazungumza aki sasa nitalipo hizo pesa zangu aki la dola kikuja sasa sasa nitamwambia nini aki sasa maisha yangu kiharibika what will happen sasa saa hii mtu akinipigia simu aniulize kama bado kama anaweza aniambie nipatie pesa fulani nitamwambia nini kama yule mtu ambaye ako na pesa zangu akinitisha saa hii nitamtolea wapi do you know that anxiety is not godly ambia mwenzako anxiety is not godly We don't know, we don't God, God is not anxious. Mungu wetu huwa hana anxiety. Ati anasikia Patricia Patricia anamwambia Patricia anasikia Patricia na iti anasema anaambia Mungu Mungu nipatie milioni 10. Ati anaanza kuuliza Gabriel. Gabriel, unasikia huyo mama? Huyo mama amesema tupatie 10,000. Saa hii saa sita tutamtolea pesa 10,000. Tena anakaa anasikia Esther na yeye anamwambia, "Eh, hey, Esther na yeye anasema Mungu nataka unipatie milioni 100." Ati anaambia anaambia 24 elders hebu mkina ba hivi muni mwe ni mwina na muniombe munisaidie niweze kupata 1100 za kupatia hesa anakaa kana sikia Israel na anasema na anataka aende US next year hata mungu anasema sasa US nani atampasaidia afi unajua US ni gumbu kweli sasa huyo nani alafu sikia mwingine na yeye anasema sijui nimpatie mapacha sasa mapacha nitamtolea pesa then god does not operate like that praise the lord Hai. Bibi ninakuombea uwe anxious katika jina la Yesu. I refuse you to be a, a confused woman out of anxiety in Jesus name. Do anxiety is a spirit of confusion. Mimi ninakukataza uwe hivyo katika jina la Yesu. I pray that may the peace of God take over your life. Because God has provided for you enough in Jesus name because you have been satisfied with good things. Hallelujah. Ninakuombea kwamba maisha yako yawe na amani katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu my prayer is that may 
the grace of meekness may the benefits it's only that my time is limited but i want you to know that there are so many things that follows the meek people we it's a list of more than 100 things but my prayer is that may even the ones that we shall know about them the ones that will not even t- find time to read about them may anything that is a benefit of the meek that is written in this word of god may it become your portion may it become your portion in the mighty name of jesus there was a time that There are times that I normally listen to the story of somebody. I, I don't know that sometimes you have ever listened to stories of people that have gone through a lot in life. Unasikia mtu unasema my goodness, huyu mtu amepitia. Lakini they have a very good ending. Have you ever heard of those stories? Mtu anasikia unasikia na kuambia mimi nilianzia mahali fulani, nikapitia hii, kuna wakati nilikuwa mgonjo, kuna wakati sijui mambo yangu iliharibika, nikafutwa kazi, sijui. Unasikia mtu alikuwa na kipas kingumu. But saa hii it's a story they are telling do you know why some of them because they are enjoying benefits of some some fruits some personalities they got kuna mambo ambao waliamua wataka imefanya mjia zao zifunguke god has not been finding it difficult for them to deliver them from the issues they were going through praise the lord lakini kuna watu ambao you you are you are giving god a challenge anashindu sasa neno langu linasema hivi lakini wewe hutaki kukaa na hilo neno you don't want to live according to what my word says but still you want me to give you this na mimi siwezi ruka neno langu you know you delay your life a lot your life suffers more because you have refused to align yourself with the will of god mimi ninaomba siku ya leo katika jina la Yesu you call you shall cooperate with god you shall cooperate with the holy spirit to bring out the best out of your life in the mighty name of Jesus it's not the delight of god for you to suffer for long it's not the delight of god for you not to manifest you know to manifest the good things that he gives to his children mimi ninaomba ya kwamba may you become a partaker of a person that is manifesting the goodness of the lord in the mighty name of Jesus kuna kitu i was meditating upon and i was saying just as the way god is merciful kuna so many characters that you know that are about god and those characters are there so that we can enjoy them wakati unasikia our god is faithful the faithfulness of god wants to manifest through a human being like you praise the lord when we say that god is full of unending mercies his mercies you know have no end those mercies are for you to enjoy them you are supposed to be a beneficiary of who god is of the mercies of god if god is a merciful god you should be a beneficiary of his mercy If God is a faithful God, you should be a beneficiary of his faithfulness. Hallelujah. I don't know whether you are getting blessed. If the Bible says that God, you know, is a what? Is a good God. You should be a beneficiary of his goodness. Kama your life life is not manifesting that good that is in God. Then I I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what is happening in your life. But my prayer is that may you align yourself in a way that the character of god you may enjoy it in your life it may become a benefit that you can say i have seen this about god in the mighty name of jesus mimi huwa nsha zingine nasema there are times that i just desire that people that do not even know much about god people that know me from back in the days i just desire that may they, may they see me and they know that indeed i've been a follower of god for some time now even without telling them remember when we were with in school i used to love god mimi ni naomba yakobo wakiniona wanaona mungu katika jina la yesu muibaji aliyomimba siku hii kijuzi hivi karibuni akapata ufunuo of a very powerful song that has become one of the powerful song of late akaimba ya kwamba wakiniona waseme nini wakuone wewe haleluya mimi ninakuombea katika jina la yesu watu wakikuona waone mungu katika jina la Yesu. I don't know that you know that song. One of the singer boy to be you wimbo Pastor Israel. Ma wakuone wewe. Unifinya ke. Unifinya ke. Ndi tazama waku I desire of 
over your life in Jesus name. Let people when they see you they see God's faithfulness. When they see you they see God's mercy. When they see you they see God's love. When they see you they see God's salvation. When they see you they see God the provider. When they see you they see the God who who is the prince of peace. Wana muona katika katika jina la Yesu. When they see you they see a husband of a widow. Hallelujah. When they see you they see a father who is the father of the fatherless has come upon you in Jesus name. Mimi ninaomba ya kwamba maisha yako itakuwa imejaa Mungu na itakuwa imejaa baraka ya Bwana katika jina la Yesu. I just want you to lift up your hand and tell God I desire you in my life. Help my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Nikataka tu inue mikono yako uambie Bwana cause my life to be a manifestation of you in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Inua mikono yako uambie Bwana Mungu nisaidie maisha yangu. Ya kwamba niongozwe na wewe, nibarikiwe na wewe. Tell God I desire that my God, my life may manifest your presence, may manifest your glory, may manifest in the mighty name of Jesus. Risha na basota likatalazia riba shanta na namazia rishe katuzika banta kasia riba shanta le mazaya i'm giving you an opportunity to pray for yourself in the mighty name of jesus as you tell god i shall be a beneficiary of who you are oh god as you told moses as you told him to go and tell pharaoh that i am that i am that i am that i am nataka uambie bwana katika jina la yesu wakati bwana niko na madeni i shall know that god you are god the prophet vida in the mighty name of Jesus when i shall need finances i shall know that god you are provider of finances when i shall need a marriage i shall know that god you are god the alpha and omega when i shall need whatever that i need oh god i shall know that god you are the one that does it when i shall need anything from you god you shall appear you shall manifest yourself as who you say you are when i shall be sick oh god manifest yourself as a great physician in the mighty name of jesus and that like i may recover in the mighty name of jesus rekasha kapo zira bashatari na mazia rekato sama shana mizeka taliza mi bashat in the mighty name of jesus In the mighty name of Jesus just lift up your hand as I make this prayer for all of us Father this morning as you have listened to your word we pray in the mighty name of Jesus that the fruit of meekness shall be upon us in Jesus name as your word says that blessed are the meek oh God because they shall inherit the earth We also decree this morning in Jesus name let that grace come upon us in Jesus name if there are some things that we have hindered you to do with our lives because you have not surrendered ourselves to you because you have not surrendered ourselves to the holy spirit we pray for that from this eve after morning in Jesus name may that grace come upon us in Jesus name and the benefits that follow those that love you follow those that are humble Follow those that are meek. Lord, we decree that they shall locate us in Jesus name. We shall say that indeed you have enjoyed what you have been able to do with the lives of the meek. In the mighty name of Jesus. We also thank you Lord as we decree that Lord our life shall manifest your glory in the mighty name of Jesus and you shall cause our lives oh God to portray you God in a big way in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you Lord and we honor you. For it is in Jesus mighty name we pray and even we believe. Amen. Let us give Jesus a mighty clap this morning. Because he's a faithful God and he's a good God. Hallelujah. Have we not been blessed? Hallelujah. Sisi tumebarikiwa. And we want to appreciate those that have been able to follow us on Mamlaka TV and on our social media pages. If you have been blessed by that word, you can also share it on your timeline in case you are using the YouTube channel or the Facebook page, you can share it on your statuses on your WhatsApp. And I know that God is going to bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh again, I would like to give you an opportunity in case you're there and you have not given your life to Christ. I would like you to repeat this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, Save me today. I surrender my life unto you. From today, I decree that I sh- I'm not a sinner. I am bog- I'm born again. Write my name in the book of life. Remove my name from the book of death. And from today, I'm saved. In Jesus name. Amen. If you have made such a prayer, salvation that comes that easily. You are born again. Locate a good church today. Even if you have given your life to Christ today on our television you can go to a church and just tell 
people in church that you're born again and I know that God is going to bless you but in case you don't have a church and you have been looking for a church and you're within Nakuru we welcome you to Chosen Generation Church Nakuru we are located along Kenyatta Avenue in Nakuru town next to Equity Bank above Shout Fitters and our services starts from 7 up to 11.30 we welcome you to the next service that is upcoming and may God bless you so much in the mighty name of Jesus I would also want to give an opportunity to those that want to give their offerings this early morning in the mighty name of Jesus you may choose to give your tithe uh, you can choose to give your you know your first fruit you can give an offering to God that you feel I need to give it in a healthy altar you can give it and I know that God is going to bless you and also your sacrifices and your offerings as you give them to God may God see it and may God bless you for that Father in Jesus name I pray for my viewers they give their offerings this morning oh God cause their lives to be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus giving unto your work is not as giving to other things and I pray this morning the blessing that follows those that stand with your work may come upon them in the mighty name of Jesus and we decree that your blessing shall rest upon each one of them this morning in Jesus mighty name we have prayed amen our viewers God bless you so much thank you for so much for tuning in follow us now in our next service at Barnabas and it is a wonderful time God bless you so much in Jesus name